let's add here the buttery bake, continuing on with our turnip series. We've already picked the turnips, we've cleaned the turnips, we sauteed the greens, and now we're going to make some horseradish creamed turnips. That sounds a lot richer than it's going to be, because I have a secret. Usually, when I make this dish, I make a bechamel, I make a white sauce, so I'll saute the turnips, and then I'll put in some more butter, and some flour, and some whole milk or heavy cream and make a delicious creamy sauce with them, but I ran out of heavy cream. I don't even know how that happened, because it did, but I did have some cream cheese, actually some chive cream cheese. So I put in cream cheese and some milk the last time I made these, and it was delicious. So our friends who are gluten-free, not to worry, you've got a dish for you. We're going to start out with some turnips. We have our cute little baby turnip that I cut up earlier, and then just some some nicely chopped turnips. As you can see, I did not, I washed them, but I didn't peel them. We've got about four ounces of chivey cream cheese. Uh, if you don't have that, you can use plain cream cheese. You could use boursin, something creamy like that. I've got about a tablespoon and a half of horseradish. That is the homemade horseradish we made a few episodes ago. And half a cup of 2% milk, and then some chives fresh from the garden. The, um, the turnips are already cut up, so really, the only thing that we're going to need to chop up for this is our chive. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then we can do the whole dish by the stove. So these are straight from the garden. They were really big. We've had a lot of rain. So I'm going to just try to get them all the same size. They chop up a little bit prettier. We're using these for the flavor, that nice, mild, oniony garlic flavor, but also because it's spring and we need something a little green on our plate. Otherwise, this dish would be very monochromatic because it's a white vegetable in a white sauce. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but as long as we've got something that's pretty and flavorful, let's use it. Camera girl wants to meet me around by the stove. We're okay, we're here by the stove, ready to start making our horseradish creamed turnips. I'm going to start with about a tablespoon and a half of butter and let that melt. Your flame should be on medium. That starts melting. We're going to add our turnips. It's about two cups, and they're just chunked up. So those are going to go in, and while they're here, we're going to season them with salt. That's our great kosher salt, and of course, the trusty, trusty pepper amel needs to give us a couple of wines. And those are just going to start going. I'm going to give them a quick toss. We really just want to start them to cook down. And once they start to brown a little bit, we're going to add some other goodies. Turnips have a little bit of sugar in them naturally. A lot of people only think about the sharpness, but they're actually an excellent root veggie. This is a, a Japanese turnip that I planted in the garden this year. They're little, round, beautiful orbs. But the traditional turnips with the yellow tops work really well. The icon can work in here. It's a little bit water, more watery, but it's still really tasty and delicious. So you can hear that butter starting to sizzle away. My turnips are cooking. They cook fairly quickly. So we just want to get a hit a saute on that first, and then we're going to start adding our extra ingredients. So about a garlic clove minced up. We'll saute that around in there until we can smell the garlic. It gets nice and fragrant, telling us it's doing its thing. When it starts to smell good, it also starts to taste good. You don't want a, that acrid burnt garlic, but you also don't want a raw garlic because it'll be too sharp for the other ingredients. Okay, it's been five minutes. Our sauce is thickened up beautifully. Remember that was just horseradish, cream cheese, a little milk, the turnips, touch of butter, and of course garlic. So that's beautiful and creamy and delicious. It's going to go right into our bowl, ever so elegantly, like everything I do, right? Everybody in. That little sauce that's clean to the pan. Nice and in. And then we have those chopped chives. Just garnish it right on the top. Emily Cutchins Adler, the buttery babe. 
with my horseradish cream turnips. You can follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and of course my website, www.butterbib.com. Thanks!